Hey guys, welcome back. I feel like I want to start every single vlog with, I'm sorry that I've been so absent lately because I've been so absent lately. Um, and if you followed our vlog, you know why. We just opened our second coffee shop. And as you could imagine, I've been working like way too much. Like today is the 17th. So that would make it about 22 days in a row that I have worked at the coffee shop. It has been so wonderful and that's why I wanted to jump on and talk to you guys just a little bit about how things have been going, what we've been up to, how the shop is doing, um, and tell you just some advice I have if you're opening a second location. So let's jump into it. So all things new shop, um, things have been going so wonderful. We created the schedule for the shop before we opened the shop, meaning I scheduled out all our employees for the entire month before we opened. And I will say that that was probably a mistake on my part because I wasn't sure how much staff we were going to need and what time frame for this new shop. And turns out I was wrong. So I had to um, go a week and then message all our staff and say, hey guys, I'm sorry I made a mistake. And we redid the schedule and sent out a new schedule to everybody after one week. And so I did feel bad about that, but everyone was very understanding because it's so new and they understood that I made the schedule based off of just total prediction. So that's something that uh, was a challenge for me. As far as um, the whole location and I guess sales in a sense go, um, I will be totally upfront and honest with you guys. By opening a second location in the same town, I did always have this fear that the business would just split between the two shops but I'm happy to say that it has not been the case. Um, by removing some of the pressure off of that other shop, the lines aren't quite so long. Our lines at our other shop would get about 20 cars deep, 10 on both sides, um, for like hours at a time. And so what would happen is that the lines would get so long, people would just drive by because they didn't have time to wait or they just saw how long the long was or they saw how long the line was and they were like, yeah, not happening today. So by removing some of the pressure off of that shop by having two options here in town, we have found that business has actually picked up over there because people are willing to actually go to the line now that they know that it's not so crazy long. This new shop is a single lane drive-through, which um, is a little harder for us because, you know, if you have six cars in line, um, we don't have an order box for multiple reasons. The first and foremost reason uh, was that we feel like when you come to a coffee shop, nothing is better than just getting to talk to a person. And when you have to talk to an order box, I just feel like it takes away that human element of it. And um, the second part was just cost, sheer cost. Um, the power of the box itself, it just was not in the budget at the moment. Um, but even cost aside, I don't think I would want an order box. I want our coffee shop to be an experience where you talk to a human, you talk to a smiling face. And so what we've done instead is that as soon as the lawn gets, wow, you guys, I just woke up from a nap and clearly like words just aren't coming. But um, as soon as the line gets longer than three cars, we send someone out with an iPad to talk to your face and take your order. And then we text using iMessaging. We text the order in from that iPad outside into an iPad inside. And then the people inside get your drinks ready for you. And then we just line them all up with their names on them. And then boom, as soon as you get to the window, your drinks are done. You pay and you leave. So we found that that system has worked for us, but I will say that um, just perfecting that system and just getting a flow for that has been a little bit difficult. The other thing is that um, if we have four people working, let's say one person's making the drinks for the drive-thru, one person's making the drinks for the inside, we've got one person ringing people up on the inside, one person ringing people up on the outside, it's hard to find that person who can run outside but yet five people at all times. It's just a lot of staffing, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of people running into each other. So we've just been kind of like figuring out those little quirks. Um, the only time that I was like, I need more people was last Saturday morning. We had six on and I didn't even feel like that was enough at that moment. It was crazy. Some more fun things that we've been working on. We did get custom stickers made. 
that we are excited to start selling. I have not released these on the website yet, but I will here very soon. Offering our merchandise at the new store and things have been selling like crazy to the point that we have had to do like two more uh, reorders lately, which is awesome because online our stuff was selling well, but in store our stuff is selling like crazy. So it's been really fun to get more of our merchandise out to the world and having people just repping Brista in their clothing, in their hats, in their cups. Um, this hat is one of our Brista hats. It says 50% coffee, 50% dry shampoo, which is basically my life, especially right now. Um, it also has a logo on the back, so super fun. Um, this is my cabinet. We have all of our like, Brista cups, and um, those have been going off the shelves like crazy. In fact, we are so low on some stock on some of them. Um, other than that, Casey and I are kind of exhausted. In fact, extremely exhausted. Um, we've just been working a lot to make sure that as the shop gets going, that things are going super well. Um, we did take our staff, as you guys probably already know this because you've watched all of our vlogs, but we took our staff we had and we split them in half, half of the old shop, half of the new shop, and we added new staff to that. And as I made the schedule, I realized that even though we had hired 16 new people, we still were understaffed. So I hired four more um, on April 1st, and I have been training them on top of working every single day this month. So it's been good, but it's just like I work in the morning and then every evening I've been going in and training them. And our training process for our girls and guys is super intense. We make them take tests, we make them do like hands-on training, and then we make them come in and do actual shifts with us. So that part has just been like a bonus exhaustion on top of the exhaustion. Because as soon as I'm like done with work and I go home and I'm like, ooh, let's take a minute to breathe, I have to turn around and go right back. Um, other things that have been happening in the coffee world, which is just like frustrating, is that the brand Da Vinci right now is going through a rebrand. They got bought out and a lot of their syrups are not available in stock through Food Service of America, through our local like distributor called Cash and Carry. Um, everybody nationwide is just shorted right now. So super frustrating because as soon as our deliveries come from food service and they short us on something, we've been driving our butts to Boise to go pick up as much as we can at cash and carry and even they're low. So things have just been like stressful in the sense that we work, we drive to Boise, we come back, we unload stuff, I train and then go to bed and start all over again the next day. Um, if you're looking to start a second location, <laughs> I will say that it's almost like having a kid. I feel like a lot of my friends go through the newborn phase and they like tell me, I'm never doing this again. This is awful, I'm so exhausted. I can't believe I've survived this. I'm never doing this again. And then literally like a year later, they kind of forget about how exhausted they were and they have another kid and go through it again. And that is how having a second location has been. Luckily this time around, I have employees. The first time we opened our coffee shop, we had no employees. So I did this literally all by myself with the help of Casey and some family. Um, but that was way more exhausting. Although I would say I was running on way more adrenaline back then too. This time around, we do have employees. I have awesome managers. I have awesome veteran staff who is giving me a break to be away from there. So I'm still there like 10 hours a day, but 10 hours a day is a lot less than 17, 18 hours a day. So that has been wonderful. I am looking forward to an actual day off though. And Casey and I've talked about it. Um, we realize that if we need to take a day off, we need to leave town because it's just habit that we just stop by and get stuck for like three hours. So um, this weekend we are going to get away for just a little bit because we're just getting to the point where we're getting a little bit burnt out. And for our marriage, for our lives, for our health and our happiness, um, we're gonna take just the day off um, on Saturday and Sunday. So that will be great. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I will hopefully vlog our adventure this weekend um, just to bring you guys along. But I will tell you that it's well-deserved, well-needed. Um, to get away for a day because we have just been working nonstop and it's stuff that people aren't even seeing like the customers are seeing us there every single day every, every single day um, but they're also not seeing those trips to Boise those trips to get supplies they're not seeing us working on the stickers or the shirt reorders or um, we've also been offering ice cream at this new location we haven't go to Boise to pick that up as well so life has been crazy 
Life has been great. We're so excited. I'm sorry I've just been rambling about all this exciting, crazy stuff happening in our lives, but I wanted to give you guys a true update um, about how we're doing, about how the shop's doing, about all the things, Brista, all the things opening a second coffee shop. Um, and I hope if you're following this adventure that you're just truly enjoying seeing every step of this process. Um, and hopefully after a day off this weekend, I will feel super refreshed and ready to just keep going and kicking butt and taking names. Talk to you guys soon.